What's up guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to fix the issue when Fortnite is stuck in the loading screen on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. When users are stuck on the loading screen when trying to play Fortnite, then this issue is in most cases related to the Epic Games servers or your own network connection. Make sure that the servers are operational by visiting status.epicgames.com on your favorite browser. On this page, expand Fortnite and make sure that the game services, login and matchmaking is operational. You should also take a look at the past incidents below, which will have more information on server maintenance or outages for your location. If the servers are all operational in your region, then make sure that you're using a reliable network connection. Make sure to use a speed testing app or website such as speedtest.net. Here, you can preview your average latency, upload and download speed. A stable download and upload speed is important and can otherwise prevent you from launching Fortnite properly, causing the loading screen problem. You should in addition restart your router or modem in case you haven't done this in a while and use an Ethernet cable to get the best possible connection. In case the loading screen problem persists, then make sure that your game files are complete and up to date. Open up your Epic Games Launcher and, in your games library, click on the burger menu icon for Fortnite and click on Verify. This will take a minute to re-download or replace any missing or corrupted game files. While this is loading, you should in addition delete your temporary files. Search for percentage temp percentage in your start menu search and hit enter. Your file explorer will open up, containing all of your temporary files, saved by your programs, which should be deleted from time to time. You can safely delete everything in this folder. Some files might remain, so just leave them there. You should also make sure that you have enough storage left on the drive on which Fortnite is saved on, as games like Fortnite read and write new files in the background. The game will be stuck in the loading screen when first launching if it's unable to allocate some free space. Make sure that you're using the recommended display resolution and scale, especially for users with an abnormal screen resolution like me. Right-click your desktop and select Display Settings. Your window settings will open up. Here, make sure that the correct display is selected and scroll down to verify your display resolution and scale, which should be set to their recommended values. While in your window settings, navigate to the Windows Update tab and click on Check for Updates or Download and Install to make sure that your PC is running the latest Windows version. You will in most cases need to restart your PC in order to install the updates. To make sure that Fortnite is starting up with the correct display resolution, you can make use of the GeForce Experience application for NVIDIA graphics card users, or use the AMD Radeon software to apply the same tweak. In the Home section, click on Details for Fortnite, and you will be presented with a range of different settings you can apply, which are recommended by the application. When clicking on the gear icon, you have the option to adjust the resolution and display mode. Make sure to set the resolution to your native monitor resolution or the recommended resolution and set the display mode to full screen. In case nothing helps you out, then I suggest reinstalling Fortnite to another drive, preferably your SSD. If you have any further issues or problems following this tutorial, then I suggest following my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.